So, Conservative Party will eject you for Islamophobia. The Labour Party will reject you for Islamophobia. The civic nationalists, the Tommy crowd, they are on par with everything that's normative except Islam. The actual right hates everything in the world. So, what's the first thought? It's the first thing that differentiates the data space. You're, you're just. You're, you're, you're... Yeah, this is demoralization. This, like, I, I, I think your theoretical benefits aren't going to materialize. It's going to end up wasting people's time and uh, causing them to think, oh, like, uh, our, our culture isn't good enough. We need to suck up to Islam, that sort of thing. They are the culture. You may pretend they are. Well, it has to be, or else like, we've, we've lost. We've lost liberty. I mean, uh, so if you take the Christian point of view, Bob the Builder says it's already been lost because of, of liberalism. Yeah, why, why, if you so take why, the why, nationalist, why don't you just like do what Bob's doing. Well, it's ineffective. Well, it's, I, I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be a lot more effective than. In what way? Let me ask you this: How many Muslims? How many people has Bob converted to Islam? Away from Islam? Quite a few. Yeah, he gets uh, like DCC, CI yeah, well, gets. Let's ask um, the Muslim brother. Yeah. How many? How many? How many do you think Bob the Builder has converted many people away from Islam? Never. Well, that's, that's, what they're gonna say. that's what they're going to say. Though. Like, it's it's going to be like a minor factor compared to birth rates, but he's still kind of. I think he's making more inroads. No, I'll give it against that. Would be an argument. Whereas if you look at it, what's the heartening thing? For well, the first time in my history, I've had a Conservative Party, had a splinter group, and a common sense group. Really are. That's the Forty Tory MPs wrote what is effectively a national party. Yeah, that's what they said. Yeah, they so you think of them as an off-size momentum like the other way. They are family to an identitarian message. What, what's the fault line? What, what is the, I mean, you, you like, you like, you like time. What's the single biggest factor that differentiates the spectrum? It's powerful. Why do you want to, you know, split people apart by fault lines? You, should, you know, you... Important messages are you done with groups. You can't, build, you can't build something from the ground up unless it's all divided into species. Yeah, you, want to, you want people to unite on like the uh, number one goal or the uh, common aim or that sort of thing. Which is, uh, okay, it's conservative. Some sort of scene. And the point is, if I look at it, I have all the, I've been a year and a half mining everything from deep into the wolf's lair. Every single quality, every single actor, every single agent. You put, put them all into their little camps. I've got racism, I've got the, I've got the long march of the institutions, right? And the progressive level. I've got racism, sexism, homophobia, Islamophobia, right? Now, what do I look at the fault line that differentiates those that can seek power, those that can approach power? The answer is Islamophobia. And the Conservative Party, therefore, are going to stand for 2025. They are going to build Jamie. Yeah. They're going to form. Yeah. Um, they're going to form. Uh, they're going to stand 40 MPs because they realise that the fault line with the Muslim group are going to require contention. Even the Boris Johnson seat, the majority was actually 18,000 to 6,000. That Muslim wasn't even born yet. So you can see that the fault line that requires unity on the right requires a unity, a unity that's conservative, that finds the liberal ontology in the middle of the progressive stuff. Muslims are inherently anti-progressive. Does any Muslim want lots of young, their daughters have lots of sexual partners? No. Do they want LGBT education? No. Do they want anything? They don't want any of these things. So they're a natural ally against the progressives, and therefore even the conservative party is going to Our job in the NRX is to accelerate these divisions, find the right schisms, so we can all get the pieces. So that's kind of, I don't know if that makes sense. Now you may not, you may not, you may not believe the strategy is accurate. Yeah. And that's a good, that's a good thing to elaborate on. Shared values? Shared values? Shared values? So, I should be talking to you. I should be talking to He wanted to debate me. He asked me five times. 
And now he wants me to go away. Who are you? You're nothing. You're nothing, Bob. Get away. Go away. Don't come back. Don't come back. Yeah, everyone saw him on camera chest. Try to accuse me of stealing. Of me being thief. Yeah, I want to I'll be one of the Right? None of them are palaces. Yeah, they're, they're not palaces, but they're normally So my outer metro gate, how many of this movement can we move so that they can get ready and prepare in case final power? Okay, but like, I, I agree with that with like as a instrumental goal or whatever. Like, uh, but like, you know, this particular... <laughs> Salam alaikum, hence. This, this particular tactic of, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> kind of opening streams and saying, oh, mashallah, like, kind of Islam's so great. How do you measure whether that tactic in particular is effective? It has brought the questions from the dissident right and the questions from the Muslim community are coming. The questions of the Muslim community are easy to hold. The questions of the dissident right are going to be, oh, is this antithetical to what we stand for? And then I turn and reverse that mirror symmetry and then say, what would you rather have? A purity spiral on anything from just dressed into Islam, or would you rather be with me? And the answer I find, and the question again, is most people, after a little bit of pondering, understand why. Yeah, I don't think that's an accurate dichotomy. It, it may not be an accurate one, but it seems to be a strategic one, right? It seems to be a... Yeah, because... Um, I mean, Jimmy's very aware of the micro effects. Well, it's just well, it's like convincing Muslims that if you keep voting for Labour, then they're going to keep imposing these LGBT lessons, indoctrinating kids, you know, to, you know, think that they're the opposite gender or trying to normalise pedophilia or sexualising children, you know, this is... Yeah. And, and even the Conservatives, not as much as Labour, but the Conservatives are definitely going to go towards, again, that progressive route. So there needs to be a natural Conservative party that... Hey, you need to become a Muslim now. So, like, they'll agree with what you're saying, that, uh, you know, these LGBT lessons to their kids are a bad thing, and they'll accept that it's a problem without sort of lauding, oh look how great conservatism is. Yeah, because if we, if we just focus on, oh we are conservative only if you're Christian or if you're a native Brit, because Labour is just going to like get rid of the next election because they got the Muslim vote, so we need to take that away from them so they don't have a monopoly. And the majority of Muslims... It's a tactic! Oh my god, he's a tactic! But no, but the majority of Muslims are conservative people. Yeah. I agree. But you don't have to explain conservatism, you don't have to sell it to them. They are conservative by nature. They know it. What they don't want is the liberal <laughs> idea of corrupting them. And the liberals tell them, we're going to modernize you. Yeah. Your daughter's going to be in the nightclub. We Can have inside Islam the, the progressives. The progressives. Because we've got. Progressive tried even worse. Because we got. Um, who's that actor who's starting Reclaim Party? The Lawrence Fox. Lawrence Fox. All right, he, um, he has good intentions, but he's a centrist. People don't want another centrist party. They want something that actually will, you know, deliver for the conservative. Um, and I know, who's that UKIP um, mixed race of black guy? Well, former UKIP David guy. Kurt. Yeah, he's starting his own party and it's going to be very I predict there'll be eight or nine parties vying from the outside for maybe up to 40, 50 seats in 2025. And the question is going to be, what are their fault lines? What's happening is that common sense group and the conservative party have said, the first time in my life, they've said something that is akin to an identitarian issue. And they've got their knuckles back. Right. Islam identifies with that first. It doesn't identify with my daughter wearing a miniskirt and being liberal. They don't want their daughters to have any sexual problems. Liberalism would tell them, you should be free to be what you want to be. Right? And we look at that and we go like, hang on, I don't want you to be free to be what you want to be. I want you to listen to your father. <laughs> now, if the liberals came out and said, no, I want conservative liberalism, can I add, can I add? that's why Islam says one of the one thing it came to to uh, protect lineage, tradition, tradition. That's what I'm saying. Tradition, tradition. That's what I'm saying. Liberals don't like care. For yeah, yeah. Because, there, because there's, there's implicit knowledge and explicit knowledge, you know. Um, is it explicit? Who dropped it by the 11th? Well, it comes to 9 How are you doing, Captain? <laughs> well, you were saying, well, um, implicit knowledge is experimentation, right? Explicit knowledge is from tradition. They're both, um, they're both, they both work, 
Um, and the fact is that when, say, in tradition or religion, where Christianity or Islam really don't teach that um, homosexuality it should be um, should be forbidden, um, they, they, did, they did have the, the, the scientific terms to describe why is that necessary. Um, but um, it still worked because it, 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 promote, it, promo it promotes eugenics or um, high fertility rates. And you know, not everyone is the, has the ability to be a scientist or a doctor to research and realize that oh, these superstitious beliefs actually have a proper Darwin, are, 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 are in Darwin, live, and live in a Darwinistic sense. And we live in a, in a world of accelerated hyperspace, right? Everything we see in this post group narrative is actually impacting us in an accelerating way. The more we see narrative versus narrative versus narrative, there's no objective truth that studies after studies and so on and so But I can change the parameters, look at what Cambridge Analytica does. I can change the sentiment indicated by more on, on social media. By just impacting small, small variables to get huge non linear changes. We live in a hyperspace world. The ideas we see in fact are real life as opposed to superstition is not in fact the real life. So as far as in the NRX, this hyperspecial approach to politics is it's what gave us results, right? Did you say that superstition doesn't impact the world? Superstition wouldn't impact the real world as hyperstition has a has a because, because we've been through this before, the ancient Greeks, the Romans, <laughs> the, 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 Babylon, the Babylonians, or the the, the um Persian. no um Baghdad Baghdad yeah. they, yes they um well just as during Islam they they also became progressive and allowing women rights and homosexuality and this um this you know when they get too much into a world where everything's based on logic then there's nothing to make people want to defend the nation you know you, you need you need people you need um what's that word uh, martial martial law Mar martial you type at some point you must crucify reason and leap into the absurd. Reason and rationality is bounded. The idea that reason is supreme, because, rationality is supreme. It's limited. Is not, reason is absolutely limited. Limited in physics and limited in maths. But not only that, reason itself gives you this. Would you say reason and reason and logic? Time to time, person to person, different, isn't it? But there the can be relatives of even objectives within reason. It's mathematically bounded. It's, it's yes, bounded yes. in quantum phenomena. And, and worse than that, it's actually spiritually degrading because it lets your ego pretend your rational mind is supreme. Now, now, we rationalism make... is somehow given a when this, supreme position. When this now, light bulb moment came. Because you know the intellect of the mind and then the intellect of the heart. Because because you just said sometimes you need to sacrifice reason. Because sometimes that's what he said my gut says. Damages of Minaeus is deeper. I think rationality as part of the enlightenment project, as part of reason, has allowed us to break the bonds of communion, break the bonds of society. How hard is it to care anymore? You see levels of altruism falling. You see all sorts of things that even if you measure epigenetically, it's falling. Now, now, now we may not be able to um, convince people to believe in God, but we. If, but the question is, is not if you believe in God. Do you believe in civilization? Do you believe in order? Do you believe in sustainability? And you know, the best order is from here. Right, and, and we need to we need to bring up the next generation. We need to bring up the we need to bring up the next generation in a way that's traditional. No, no, look, look what's happening here. Like you guys. I talk about how you, you want tradition back and you want sort of a uh, community back. And in order to do that, kind of you're having to sort of implicitly say, you know, and we have to sort of adopt Islamic community in order to achieve that. Like if the answer's going if that's what you're doing, Islam like, is you know, an exemplar of why the yeah. modernity is not friendly. No, it's not as rejected. Yeah, I, I doubt we're able to I highly doubt we'll get um, all the Muslim votes. We just need to have at least some like yeah, the third. Like, the, 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 the effect isn't going to be on the Muslims. They're going to kind of stay the way they are. The effect is going to be on some of the people who kind of... The effect is going to be on some of the people... A lot of Muslim women are being very empowered. And they, 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 they are breaking free of the, of the, of the restrictions that Islam imposes. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, okay, well. that's happening to a degree as well, particularly in America, not, not as much in Europe. But, uh, like, um, what, what was going to happen is that your followers, the people who are kind of like... 
you know, sort of feel like something's going wrong with uh, the fish, 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 fish and society. Fish, 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 fish. Yeah, yeah, some of the people feel that something's going wrong with fish society. They're going to see and they're going to hear you saying, have Alhamdulillah and like kind of, oh, Islam is such a great example. And that's going to demoralize them. It's like saying, oh, the answer can't come from within us. The answer has to come from this outside force that wants something different. So it's, it's, making a strong liberal claim that you have a solution to the I hear not a liberal solution. I hear liberalism offers you more of the same. Well, like, you, why, why don't you just, like, if, if you think that there's no answer to kind of a, a, a liberal or atheist worldview, then why don't you take one that's, like, from your ancestors, like, and actually just, like, straightforwardly go for what, what Bob is preaching. Because and, Christianity like, is weak. Bob can't convert yeah, this is the demoralization you're admitting to. Uh, uh, it's like about your, 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 it's no, about what makes no sense as well, isn't it? There's no feature there. Like, you're no, just it's gonna about what makes sense like, lost as well. To, you're just going to admit the yeah, yeah, but a lot, a lot Christians, wow. don't, a lot of Christians think Bob is a fake Christian because he believes in Darwinism. But you can, like, they can win, you, you can win that battle. Why, why you, how do you decide which battles are winnable or not? You're not going to detonate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>